Hi everyone, Messi Coder here with a quick Unity tutorial for an asset called Mesh Editor from Alan Bayless. And I bought this many years ago and it's only 15 bucks on the asset store. And with this wonderful tool, I was able to edit some of the meshes that I have from the Cyberpunk pack from MK4 without needing to go into Blender or any kind of 3D modeling application. I could edit these meshes directly inside Unity. And it was a lot of fun, very easy to use and the perfect tool for a quick job that I needed to do. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. Okay, so here we are. We're going to play about with this asset called Mesh Editor. And I got this many, many, many years ago as part of Mesh Maker Bundle Pack, which is 16 modeling editing packs all in one from Alan Bayless and I got it a lot cheaper than 45 bucks because it was on a massive sale so I think I paid like $20 or well, I think I got it 70% off to be honest I think and part of that is this mesh editor which you can pick up just for 15 that little clicking noise you're hearing is little Theo sitting on my lap as he's going to help me make this video aren't you Teddy you going to help yeah now the problem I've got with the cyberpunk pack that I purchased is that the pavement looks a little bit odd. Teddy, have you seen pavement like this before? When there's no. a no, I haven't seen it either. Where there's like a bricks that stops you because you would trip over that, wouldn't you? If you walked, you might trip over and fall over and hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah. But it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? But Can you see the, the rain splashing down on there? Yeah. As well? Does it look nice? No. <laughs> no? Does it look dangerous? Yeah. You can slip and slide. Yeah. And because it's wet, you might trip over this piece of brick here, curb, and then fall in here, couldn't you? Yeah. Should we fix it? Yeah. Cool. Let's fix it together then. So, let's get out of this mode. And I'm going to put here mesh maker and I'm going to click on the mesh editor come on mesh editor come on here it is and this little window magically appears here and I'm going to click on my little pavement and I'm going to lock this object and I'm going to save it in meshes and I'm going to call this pavement corner and it's from the Street Pavement 3. All right, let's call it that. Street Pavement 03. Messy. How's that? Is that yeah. better? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Uh, can you get the shape? Can you get the right shape? There? This one? Yeah? Yeah. OK. Well, I think it's, mm, is it that one? Yeah, it is that one. Hold on. So now I'm going to select these bits here. Keep on left clicking my mouse. Now, I don't have to hold down shift or anything. And now the sphere. And now the sphere. Uh, I don't need the sphere. I'll tell you what I will do. We want this to be the same height as here. So I want to go to here and put 0 point, oops, uh, point zero 0.03. And click set. Oh, it's not high enough. A little bit. It's all right, actually. Undo that. Let's go. 0.35. That's not too bad. Um, actually, it looks all right because we can allow it to have just a little bit of a lip on there. Oh, nice. And then unlock. Boop. And let's put it back. And if we do the same to this one, and click lock. And say so this one is pavement one. And now you see here, let's change that name there. So if we do like we did on the other one and keep that at 0.35 set, oop, it's gone up and then unlock, oop. You see that it previously already had this misalignment here wasn't us. It was already there. Now, 
if we take this and we change the mesh from this one to be this one. Oh, lovely. I actually took it. Now, if we just go to here and open the prefab and drag this in here to the prefab itself and then save it Beep. and go out Beep. and then do the same for this one open and click that and then drag in three Beep. does that work yeah it does work doesn't it teddy yeah and then save that and then come out Beep. now all of them should look a lot nicer and we can even go one step further should we go one step further Ted yeah let's go over here and add a box collider should we add a box collider I'm hungry are you hungry yeah well that's a miracle isn't it yeah what would you like to eat sweet well sweet isn't food is it would you like spaghetti uh, let's eat the sweet together. You're hungry for sweets and you want to eat sweets together? Yeah. I don't think sweets are dinner. Do you think sweets are dinner? No. Or, no, they're not, are they? I can smell the sweet is good. <laughs> I, want, I want to eat it with you. Let's <laughs> share the sweet. You can, you can smell the sweet is good? Yeah. Let's share the sweet. To speed this up, I've gone and stuck three box colliders on this mesh so that now, if we were to be in a third person view, we would actually be able to see a slight difference from treading on here to treading on there. It's quite petty, I know, but you probably wouldn't even need it. Well, I'd like to add it in there, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to come back and bite us in the bum when it comes to performance. But we're going we're gonna to have to see about that. Now, importantly, inside Unity, we can see this little model, this prefab, and if we go over to the clone here, that's this little mesh, you can see that it's got the street underscore pavement underscore one underscore messy. And here it is. Oh, no, it's not that one. Here it is. That's the corner one. And if you can barely see that there's a little raise, but not much. And if we go into the source folder, streets models don't ask me why it's streets models and not in the models folder um it's odd and we find here it is street pavement one the original one you can you can even see here a slight difference and we go to its model and you can see it's a bit darker so isn't that wonderful and that literally was it that was me three seconds of playing about with mesh editor that's 15 bucks on the asset store and it was a lifesaver because I was able to just quickly and, and play about. Now there's a load of other things that you can do, fancy things with this that I haven't worked out yet. And to be honest, not sure I need to work them out at the moment because this is all I needed to do. I just wanted to raise the ground a touch and I was able to do it. I can also, um, if you didn't, you've got to do lock and then you can start editing and things. So. If I wanted to, I could play about even more, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm just going to close this before I break anything. And I think that's good enough. And if we click play now, I've got a little man, so he can show us what it's like. Here he is. As we go up, you're going to see, yep, he went up onto that collider, and he went down, down onto the ground. Up. No more of that silly going up and then down again and tripping over and falling into the road. That's the outside, it's very dangerous. You don't want to be doing that. And here we go, we've got our little man running around. Able to go up Z, down Z, up Z, down Z. It's a lot of fun, very quick, two seconds. I prefer my little one. Now I could lower this down here, the curb, but I like that. Oh. There you go, look at this. Jump. That's that collider. Whoopsie. It's quite, quite aggressive that was, isn't it? Let's see if it's the same here. Whoa. 
I get some of that IK. I need to put some IK in here to resolve some of that shenanigans. I will play about with the controller a bit later on. Now we're going to build our city. We're going to build this city. It's going to be built on rock and roll. And I'll see you in the next quick vid as we're trying to make a cyberpunk GTA type fantastic game. But if you do like it, click it. Until next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.